Hello, fountain pen people, and welcome to this week's fountain pen review. This week we are talking about my new favorite pen, the Pelican M200. This is the Silver Pearl. Um, Silver Pearl means it was made um, in 1988 onwards, and the fact that the cap says West Germany means it was made from 1992 or 3. Uh, backwards so it was made sometime between 1988 and 1992 or 1993 um absolutely amazing pen i got it for a killer deal on ebay um because the nib was absolutely destroyed i'll throw up some pictures i managed to fix it it could still use some tuning um i'm having some issues where when i write uh just like this just straight it writes exactly like I want it to, but if I write like this, it's a lot wetter than I would like it to be. But we'll get into that. Absolutely beautiful pen. I'll try to get some nice b-roll of it, because I can't actually see what the camera sees right now, so I don't know if you guys are seeing anything good. <laughs> but it's an absolutely great pen. Piston filler, not going to turn it because there's ink in here. Um, Again, made in West Germany, has the derby cap, so it has the two gold bands um, and the round cap, and it does not have a band around here, which the um, newer ones do, I believe. Yeah, the newer ones have the crown top, one band here, and one band here. I believe the clip is the same. Um, those will also be made just in Germany, not West Germany. Which I thought that was kind of neat, neat little piece of history to have a pen made in West Germany. Um, it's also, from what I've seen on eBay, it's pretty hard to find these pens. Um, I believe it's also harder to find the new versions of the Silver Pearl that have the one band, one band crown top. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, that makes sense because I haven't seen those at all. I have found a couple of these, but still they're pretty hard to find. So this is actually... Uh, it may be my new favorite pen overall. It may be take the number one spot. I don't know. If you've been watching all of my reviews, you'll know I have a struggle picking the top three. I know who's in the top three, but it's hard to give them the actual number place. So in the top three is this Pelican M200, my vintage Schaefer Flat Top Junior, and my Twisby Swipe. Those are in the top three, but I don't know who I'd give first, second, third spot to. I think this is the first, though, so that makes second and third a little difficult. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? The Twisby Swipe is in there? I love my Twisby Swipe, okay? Um, but this thing is absolutely great. Gray is my favorite color. Um, this is also called the Gray Marble, but... Um, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the classic look of black and gold. I love gray, I love white, I, it has a little bit of like a shimmer to it. Um, when I posted pictures on Discord, people were saying it reminded them of oysters, which, I mean, silver pearl, it, not the same thing, but they were in the right family where it's like ocean shell things. <laughs> it does kind of look like that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get to the writing portion. Now, I tend to prefer smooth pens. Um, I'm not a huge fan of feedback. Um, I do have a Sailor Compass 1911 on the way. That'll be, that should be the next video after this one. Um, these are recorded very far in advance. I'm recording this right now. Um, I believe it's the first weekend of September. This will probably be coming out towards the end of October. So pretty far in advance, um, but I should be getting that compass this week and then recording that and then it'll come out uh, after this video. Um, I may do the unboxing when I get it, but then the review will be after this. We'll see. But I really like Smooth. As far as I know, I've, I mean, the only really feedbacky pen I have is the Perkeo. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, and I don't love it. It straight up feels like I'm writing with a pencil. If I wanted to write with a pencil, I'd use a pencil, not a pen, you know? So someone recommended Pelican. I went 
searching on eBay and I found this pin and uh, gross. All of these shiny plastic pins just collect my gross skin cells. It's disgusting, but whatever. Still a beautiful pin. Um, so I tried this again when I got it. The nib was absolutely destroyed. Um, I did fix it, but it does still need some tuning, I think. I'll probably work with that. If I can't get it to write the exact way I want, um, I'll probably just buy a replacement nib on eBay for like 24 bucks. Well, let's go ahead and get to the writing. So it is a gold-plated steel nib, um, but it is quite springy steel. There is some definite line variation. I don't notice it as much when I'm writing. My apologies for my voice. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't notice the line variation when I'm writing that much. But again, a lot of times if I write like this, that's what I want it to write like all the time because that looks extra fine. There's not excess ink coming out. That's what I would expect from an extra fine nib like this. But if I write like this, which is how my hand tends to go, it gets thicker, there's line variation. So, I don't know. I'm pretty new to this whole messing with nibs, so I'm not exactly sure what causes that. Um, I'll have to work on fixing that but this is my favorite pen so far i've been using it for notes i just started uh, a new school new major it's interesting <laughs> it's definitely tough um but i've been taking all my notes with this bad boy and i've absolutely been loving it i did have pelican in it at first because it is a vintage pen but to use it for school i really wanted a traumatist archive so that I can highlight, you know, five seconds after I write, um, and it can handle that like a pro. So I absolutely love it. Um, it's definitely my favorite pen. I really love it a lot. <laughs> my new grail pen is the M400 Stressamon um, uh, Anthracite Black. I'll throw up a picture. Absolutely gorgeous pen, really expensive. This is my most expensive fountain pen so far at $50. Um, they, typically, from what I've seen, they can go anywhere from $95 to $165. So I think I got a pretty good deal at $50. Bucks. Um, it's still my most expensive pen though, but I absolutely love it. I would pay it again in a heartbeat. Um, I will continue working on the nib, but even right now, I still absolutely love it. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.